Hey everybody, welcome back. Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 21st day of April 2023, I got a good one for you today. I'm going to take you over to Jim Bullion so we can look at those spot prices. We're going to look at the premiums and we're going to look at the availability of those American Silver Eagles and which, well, it's not surprising that there aren't that many because the Mint isn't really producing that many, right? So that's kind of not really in their... Well, they're supposed to produce enough for demand, right? And they're really not because demand is outrageous. Those premiums are outrageous. So something's amiss. But let me do one thing first. I'm going to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to all of our channel members. Really appreciate all y'all. Look at this almost local coin shop, almost LCS right there. I thought that was really cool. Now over here to JM Bullion. So, wow, look at that. Gold is down 1710 to 2011, right at that $2,000 mark. That's interesting. Silver down 17 cents to 2539. Platinum down 342 to 110703. And palladium down 361 to 1644. And as you can see, each and every single one of these precious metals is right about at the right spot. 2000 above 25, above, well, look at that, 1100. That's strong. And then 1644. Could we see $2,000 palladium? I don't know. Maybe. But check this out. We're still waiting for those american silver eagles here at jm bullion we're six days away that's next week folks that's amazing and what are you going to be paying for those american silver eagles with a credit card or a paypal payment yeah pretty dear actually it's 23.95 per you remember when that remember when that's what they used to cost just by itself yeah me too that's awful now over here to the united states mint bullion sales no new tale to tell folks no new tale to tell and they update these every weekday by 5 p.m i don't know if that's just something they say or i don't know but look at this, 450000 for the month of April. And we're the 21st here. We had a week left now. All right. And that's not too many re more reporting days, I would say. And uh, will we be at that 900000 Quite possibly. But we do know that the United States Mint made a delivery of American Silver Eagles to JM Bullion on the 12th of April. And we still haven't seen those numbers reported yet. Uh, and I don't know why. But that's all right. Because check this out. This is huge. This is a really big deal. This is from CNBC. And it's under the politics. I don't know why, because it should be under economy, but whatever. It says new bipartisan bill would let the U.S. Mint alter the metal content of coins to save money. And folks, this is something we've been following for quite some time now, since probably 2020, all right, um, when they first passed the act uh, to um, change the, cir to the circulating uh, metal content, right? Circulating coins content. Anyway, you see what I'm saying there? I can't even speak this morning. Now, this is published April 30th at 3.48 p.m. Eastern, just yesterday, and it's written by Christina Wilkie, all right? Now, these are the key points. A pair of senators, that's two senators, are going to introduce a bill to authorize the U.S. Mint to alter the metal content of coins in order to save taxpayers' money. We just talked about it a couple days ago, how much money it costs to make a 2022 Lincoln cent, right? So GOP Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa and Democratic Senator Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire seek to cut the soaring costs of minting America's quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. So it isn't just a penny they're talking about, folks. It is every single circulating coin denomination. There you go. Did I just say that right? I'm in my head today. I don't know why. A new report from the U.S. Mint revealed that in 2022, costs for raw metals drove the price of minting a single nickel past 10 cents. We already knew it was getting expensive or more than double the value of the coin itself. And there's a picture from uh, Stephen Hilger, Bloomberg, Getty Images, recently struck pennies at the U.S. Mint Philadelphia. And they look like a 2007 right there. Remember those days? Now, this is out of that. We're just starting the story. Here we go. This is out of Washington, a bipartisan bill to authorize the U.S. Mint to alter the metal content of coins in order to save taxpayers money will be reintroduced on Thursday. That was just yesterday, right? Two senators sponsoring the bill told CNBC exclusively. Nobody else has this story. The bill's reintroduction comes just days after a new report. That's right. I'll leave a link in the description. From the U.S. Mint revealed that in 2022, soaring costs for raw metals drove the price of minting a single nickel past 10 cents or more than double the value of the coin itself. And really, we need to know what the other coins are, are costing to produce as well, right? GOP Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa, Democratic Senator Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire, say their legislation is designed to cut the rising expense of minting America's quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. It's an absolute nonsense. It's absolute nonsense that American taxpayers spend 10 cents to make just one nickel, Ernst said in an email to see. NBC. Only Washington could lose money by making money. Let's see. That's just silliness. Officially, I don't know why she's saying that, but that's okay. I mean, um, the, the nickel does have a value and all they need to do is just alter the metal content and save some money. That, you don't have to get that hyperbole, use that much hyperbole, right? Now it says here, officially titled the Coin Metal Modification Authorization and Cost Savings Act's 
That's a mouthful. The legislation was originally introduced in both House and Senate in 2020. There you go, folks. The bill passed in the House that year with overwhelming bipartisan support, but it ended up on the Senate's cutting room floor in favor of more urgent pandemic-related legislation. Now, what I think, folks, is that we are nearing a 1982-1983 experience. Uh, economic times are tough. The metal composition needed to be changed because the uh, current metal composition was getting pricey. Um, and not only that, but if you pair that with the mint putting the uncirculated mint set back at the very end of the mint schedule, well, I mean, what if we see a, um, a change in metal content? Or what if we don't even see a mint set put out because they would, the mint would have to put out both types of metal compositions for that uncirculated mint set, right? Wouldn't they? Hmm. And if they don't, are you headed over to eBay to buy as many uh, 2023 rolls as you can, or maybe even boxes of coins? Now, it says here, the chief sponsor of the 2022, 2020 House bill, Republican Mark uh, Amode of Nevada, will be introducing a new version of it in the House in coming days, a Senate aide told CNBC. Today, Washington's pandemic era spending spree is over. It's in, uh, it's in its place is a new Republican House majority with a focus on slashing federal red tape and cutting government spending, all of which could be good news for Hassan's and Ernst's mint bill. This bill would save millions of dollars per year by modifying the composition of nickels, dimes, and quarters with less expensive metals worth the penny, right? Hassan wrote in an email to CNBC, I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support our bipartisan bill. Um, as party leaders in the House and Senate work to line up legislation that can pass with bipartisan support as part of an eventual debt ceiling and budget package later this year, proposals like this one from Ertz and Hassan may gain more momentum than usual. This common sense bipartisan effort will modify, this is what Ernst is saying, modify the composition of certain coins to reduce costs while allowing for a seamless transition into circulation. There you go. Uh, and the Mint has also said that. And to make a seamless transition means that they're going to be co-circulating both coins. So we're going to be have we're going to have to either weigh them or buy a machine that can detect uh, the metal composition. And this is going to bring coin collecting into a whole new level. This is going to be exciting. Uh, and Ernst said, a penny saved is not, <laughs> a penny saved is a penny not borrowed. I guess that's profound right there. So that's the end of the article right there, folks. What do you think? Do you, does this make you, is this a call to action for you to buy um, U.S. Mint rolls of quarters, U.S. Mint rolls of, uh, well, candy half dollars? Or does this make you go to the bank as well and look to any circulating coins from 2023? Well, for me personally, I would probably go to eBay, all right, and let me, let's tell you, let's be honest, I don't know what's going on here, there we go, hi, nice to see you, so here we go, $8.99 for a roll of the 2023 Philadelphia Lincoln set roll, that is so expensive, because I think you can get a roll of dimes for just about that, that much as well, um, $8.29, like two bucks, uh, with five bucks shipping, that's about the best you can get it, buck fifty-nine, eight bucks for a roll, look at that, ten ninety-nine for a roll of dimes, Eighteen ninety nine plus plus five dollars shipping for a roll of Edith Kanaka Holy Quarters. And that's when you're happy you bought them from the Mint, right? Because, I mean, the Mint's selling them for $20 a roll, right? Right? With free shipping. Well, they're selling for more than the, what the Mint is selling them for. That's just outrageous. And the, you thought the Mint was getting over it. These are selling for 10 bucks here. So, yeah, I think that I'm going to go on a shopping spree this morning. Now that I've seen this information from CNBC about a new part bipartisan bill talking about the metal changes and what do what does the United States Mint use for uh, coin specifications and content right now? Well, check this out. This is from the United States Mint, and this is updated April 28, 2022. All right, this last year, almost a year to date, and it talks about the composition here: copper plated zinc. That's right, two and a half percent copper. That and the rest remaining of that is balanced is zinc. There you go. But look at this. 25% nickel, and the remaining 75% is copper. And you want to see this in a better visualization, you got it right here. And I will leave a link in the description of this video for both this uh, infographic as well as this um, chart here from the coin specifications on the United States Mint. And this one's a little bit more uh, easy to understand. I mean, if this is the coin here, you've got copper at 975 and a half. Look at that, 25% nickel, 75% copper, and then dime, quarter, half dollar. You're looking at 91.7% copper and 8.3% nickel. Now, these are metals we're talking about, copper and nickel. These are part of the Green Revolution. So it makes perfect sense that the United States Mint and our legislative body would say, you know, since these are becoming more expensive, and there's a very good reason 
like I just said, they're part of the green revolution that these metals are becoming more expensive. And could copper and nickel become as valuable or, or as precious as silver and gold one day? I don't know, but the way we're using it, the way it is legislated, it might become for a short period of time. Now, what's interesting is you don't hear the legislator, legislative body talking about the dollar coins, right? Those might have manganese and zinc in them, but they still have a good bit of copper. Look at that, 88.5% copper. So that's something I think the Mint uh, and that Circulating Coin uh, Act needs to think about as well, because it really it, it isn't just the um, you know the nickel or the the penny. All right, so let's keep on keeping on. I got to show you this. Bam! This is huge. This is Proverbs twenty five eight. It says here, and this is some old fancy language here. Go not forth hastily to fight or argue, lest thou know not what to do in the end when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame what i mean come on who talks like that so you gotta like think about it and you're like wrapping your head around it and then you look it up on google and basically i think what it summarizes too is that don't become involved in an argument unless you have thought through how it's going to end and 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 ask yourself all right this is the biggest part of it all what outcomes of that argument of that are, are acceptable to you you want to lose a friend lose a lover maybe not be able to come back to a, a certain restaurant or whatever you know i mean just wow right yeah think things through think things through now let's head over here to 99.9 koin coin news radio this is simply red holding back the years and this is the official 4k remaster that's full body sound right there folks now I want to thank you all for watching thanks for dropping by don't forget to hit that like button and if you do like what you're here and see please subscribe to the channel it's free stack her out